how's everybody doing? Welcome to the worst reviews ever. I got the man of genius in the building. Got Wally in here. We got Amazing and we got Casey Fred. So, so Casey Fred, man, we, we got to clown you a bit. You, you watched the right movie this week? <laughs> Uh, I hope so, man. Uh, I, I want to ease into this a little slow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> look, look, look. Hey, hey, Fred, it's 2024, right? I, mean, yeah, I don't even know what it is anymore. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I see you rocking the Royals. Uh, how they doing this year? They they winning? Nah, brother. They they uh, at the 500 already, so it's going to be a slow oh, okay, turn, okay. bro. Uh, I, my uh, KC Current, which is a F KC uh, women's team, got a brand new stadium and uh, they won their first home game. So they starting off the gate pretty hot. So things are looking up. I just don't have their jersey yet, but uh, I'm going to get everybody's got to represent oh, okay, KC okay. all the way. So that's where they like throw underhanded and stuff. Softball. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Casey Curran is soccer, bro. <laughs> oh, it's all oh, soccer. Okay, I thought you were talking about softball. Oh, I was like, okay, yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought you were talking about softball too. I was like, damn, <laughs> you're, you're you're supporting now. I was like, you 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 all for the city because ain't no way in hell they can pay me to watch that. Oh yeah, <laughs> but this is like female soccer. Okay, yeah. As long as now you repping, you repping everybody. They need to give you some bills. <laughs> ah shoot! Now that you said it. I don't even think there's even is there even a ba uh, a baseball league for women on the high end? Nah, I think they just have okay, like college like, softball teams. Is, okay, because that's what I thought. I did not. Yeah, I think that's about as high as it goes. I'm not for sure. Yeah. Damn, but all right, we'll go ahead and jump into the movie review. We're watching. We're doing the players right now. I got CLS. Let me pull them in real quick. Uh oh, oh not the go. infamous CLS. Not CLS back <laughs> oh, yeah. in the building. This, this is about to be fun. <laughs> hey, you're not in your room, bro? Huh? You're not in your room? My living room, yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm used to the backdrop, window, you Put the know. window. Oh, no, I just moved the furniture around. <laughs> yeah, oh, you look like you got, like, a uh, rec time in Rikers. I thought uh, yeah. like they, <laughs> they <laughs> let you shoot a pop Just a corner, just a corner in the living room. Corner living room. I, some, I got some pictures. I got some pictures I'm going to put on the wall. I got, I got me a nice... Got me a nice little Tupac picture. Tupac, nah, it's all that good stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like the one they had in Baby Boy. Nah, that's dope. <laughs> nah, not that one. Not that one. This shit. The one I got. I, I don't know if you know if you'll be able to see it. I can show it to you if you want to see it. Yeah, go ahead and show it to us. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Wait, waste our fucking time. I mean, our damn time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, you talk about he's going to waste the time. <laughs> shit, shit is fire, bro. The dude, so you say. Shit, it is. You don't see that shit? It is fire, but I don't know if I have a shirtless bed in my house. Dude, that's, he, he always walked around without a shirt on, bro. It's Pac. He, that's just what he did, dude. He, Damn, he, got he got old pants, motherfucker. They made my man Pac look like he uh, skipped a couple of meals, man. Yeah, yeah man, my, man, my man looking hungry out here. Nah, here's, 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 here's the nah shit right here. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, I do like that one. Nah yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Well, that's you see it. Let me and it got the glare on it. I like that, man. Yeah, Where'd you get that at? You say glitter on it. Nah, nah glitter. glitter. Yeah, like it got, oh, got glitter. What did you say? Glitter. Yeah, the shine. Yeah, yeah. This dude, uh, local artist. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I met him in the city. Here now, here in Atlanta. He's yeah, uh, give me, give me his name. I might order some stuff. Yeah, yo, he he do custom, he do custom jobs too. It, okay. Oh wow. Yeah, he's doing that shit by hand, bro. Yeah, I only want art of myself, though. I, he's, he's amazing got me he the could. picture of me on a, like, George Washington on that horse. Bro, I got to show y'all that. No, he can draw you butt-ass nigga eating an apple. Oh, word. We don't <laughs> With some Tim's and socks on and shit. Delivering a pizza you naked. Yeah, right. Have a okay, okay. Ass. No doubt. I'm going to hit him up. Oh, <laughs> you know what? You, like, next time on that back one, that back one right there, you'll have a damn, uh, that's a Tim's and ankle socks. Oh man! All right, let me pull up these slides, man. You go ahead and read them. <laughs> yeah, got gotcha. you. All right, players, uh, y'all can hear me. Yeah, you coming in clear. That mic's kind of good, man. Shout out to that mic. Yeah, shout out, shout out to this inexpensive ass mic. Uh, <laughs> players is a 2024 American romantic comedy film directed by Trish C. And written by Whit Anderson, Mac, a sports journalist from New York City, spends her spare time concocting 
hookup schemes alongside her best friend, Adam. When she meets charming English war correspondent, Nick, she decides that she is ready to settle down and enlists Adam and her other friends to assist her in convincing Nick that she is relationship material. All right, I'll go ahead and jump into the director and producer slides. So directed by Tris Sai, written by Whit Anderson, produced by Ross Dinnerstein, Mark Platt, Adam Siegel and Ryan Christians. All right, so the cast for the movie is Gina Rodriguez as Mac, Damon Wayne's Jr. as Adam, Tom Ellis as Nick, Augustus Prue as Brennigan, Joel Courtney as Little, Liza Kashi, that's a Manitz girl, <laughs> as Ashley. And oh, oh, yeah, Ashley. Yeah, I like her too. Yeah, that Manic always had a crush on her since she first stepped on the YouTube. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Throwing them out there. <laughs> shout out to Manic. <laughs> shout yeah. out to me. Bus coming by. Nah. And the Ego Nguyen <laughs> as Claire, Marin Hinkle as Karen Kirk, and Brock O'Byrne as Brady Stratton. So, all right, Manic, you want to defend yourself real quick before I go to the, the ratings? You want to defend myself anything? from what? No, I'm just saying, you want to confess anything? You want to throw a shout out to her or anything? No, 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 no. She knows how I feel about her. I'm in her DMs already. So, oh, for real? You're, nah, you're I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me go ahead and put up the rating skill. So, all right, we're going to start with uh, CLS first. So, CLS, what's your rating for this movie? Mm, nine. You said nine? Nine. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Shit. So, CLS is between uh, excellent and classic. I want to call it, yeah, I would call it classic, but definitely a nine, though. I, I give it up there, up there. Okay, okay. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. Casey, Fred. Uh, I actually had it at 7.5. So Casey, Fred got to that uh, very good territory. All right, amazing. What did you have this in? Oh, gosh. I, I actually. Can tell she's a hater. Oh, please. This, this, this took. For first of all, both of us, several attempts at watching. Oh, for real? I Did yeah. I know? Oh, okay. Didn't know that. All right. And then she oh, said, yeah. said what, what, "Repeat that oh, again." You said it took us what? Several attempts to watch it. Like every, mm. we both kept falling asleep. I think it took like. No, nah, you gotta keep your hands off me. Just don't <laughs> use the sleep excuse. <laughs> yeah. I am oh, a sex we symbol. There now. We went there. <laughs> She's always trying to cover. <laughs> use tag. Just say it, man. Damn. Own, own your shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so I always use that because it, it's a really good movie. Um, I don't count him because he falls asleep 98% of movies. I'll stay up and watch the whole thing no matter how sleepy I am. This mm -hmm. one took me so many times. Yeah. So originally I was actually going to rate it very low, but this is the crazy part. So I've had a super, super busy week this week. And I was like, let me go ahead and try listening to it. And then I was like chuckling several times in the car listening to it. So then I was thinking, well, maybe it was just because I was just tired this week. So now I feel like I'm not doing a good job rating, but I was going to go with a, again, I was, I was planning on this being very low, um, but I'm, I'm going to put it at a 6.5. Hmm. All right. So you got it in good territory. All right, Wally, what, what's your rating for this movie? See, you, see, CLS, you, you're going to have to prove this one because I don't see how you got this to a nine. I put this at a six. Mm. Okay, Wally got it at between average and good. All right, Demanded Genius. I got this as a solid eight. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. see, now there's two of y'all that has to prove this. Mm. You said solid eight. <laughs> Yeah, it's solid. I can so, so it's easy for me. So uh, easy, easy to me too. Hold on, hold on. So, well, Lord, I'm gonna. So you got it between one. very good and yeah, excellent. And, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And and just to let I'm gonna come like, to y'all real quick. Romantic comedies are my favorite genre of movies. So mm -hmm. we fucking see. Uh, I'm well versed. You keep rating these movies classic. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I ain't gonna like. I ain't say it was a classic. It was excellent though. It was it's good. up there though. It's up there. Excellent. Uh, excellent. Not classic though. All right. Well, for me. I gave it a 5.8. It was the average movie. <laughs> okay, see, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It, was, it was it was average at best. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, still let you got breakdown since you the outlier. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's romantic comedy. It did keep my attention. I was able to sit through it with like one setting. I had to keep <laughs> watching it over and over again. Like, like she mentioned, she's like, it took me so long to finish it. Nah, I wasn't like that. I mean, very relatable. I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit, it resonated with me, man, for real. Like, I, I felt that shit, but only because I've been in that situation before in real life. So it, it hit, that shit hit different with me. It probably didn't hit you guys the same because y'all, y'all all married and shit, but a single nigga like myself, yeah, I felt it. Felt wait, wait, that, wait, wait, wait. Who, yeah, who did you relate with? Huh? Who did you relate with? Mac. Which character? Mac. 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 The girl? Yeah. Mac. You 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 related as like you were the male version. I mean, of Mac? but also, but but also I related to both characters, her and Adam. Been in been in both of the shoes in real life. Mm. Lived it. The only I mean it's a little it's a little different though. I'm not like a she's an only child. Wasn't an only child. Remember, um, and the only reason I didn't give this movie a 10 is because I thought that whole relationship, I thought it was I already knew they were gonna end up together. It's predictable. I figured that shit out. Yeah, when, it they, was were sick, when they were when they were sitting on the couch watching that MMA fight, figured it out then. And I was I figured I it out that when was he walked into in. the train. That was thirty minutes. In. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, that, that's yeah, yeah. that's when I figured it out know. too. I'm like, you just know. I knew. I knew he was in love with her. <laughs> knew it. He said, "Tell by the way you're looking at her." And then outside of the only the thing that confirmed it was uh, when they were outside of Yankee Stadium when they were sitting on the grass and she was telling that story about her parents. And she was, you know, said, I love the way my father looked at my mom. So I want that kind of love. And he's like, "Me too." It's easy, man. Nah, yeah. you want you want to know what I knew when yeah. it first happened? Mm-hmm. It was when he asked her to do the double date, and he said no, and then he switched the yes. Yeah, that's what that yeah. was the clear that was the clarification. And then mm-hmm. of course, when him the chick went back to the to the crib, and he's on the phone while brushing his teeth, then it's that was done deal, dude. I, I just I just knew it, man. Like with me, I I don't know if you'll get the reference because I am old, but I had a Winnie Cooper Older when I was shit. growing up. I had me a Winnie Cooper when I was growing up. I don't know if you get the reference, but Winnie God. Cooper. God, Winnie yeah. Cooper? Had me a Winnie Cooper, bro. <laughs> what are you, 60? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, yeah, was, the Wonder Years ain't that I got to like Google Winnie who that is. The, the <laughs> Wonder Years, bro. Wait, 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 he's, wait, you're young. You ain't gonna, the Wonder Years? Oh, the Wonder Years. The Wonder Years, years, bro. The Wonder years oh, bro. Wonder I had a Winnie, yeah, I had yeah, a Winnie yeah. Cooper growing up. Not to get Winnie Cooper. You get the reference, bro. You get the reference. Hey. When I was the girl next hey. door, my Winnie, Winnie Cooper. Hey, Manny, wasn't Wonder Years before uh, internet? <laughs> Man, it, was. It, it, it was. That's what it was. Hey, when we had the the, 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 the ring phones, where you had a dial and stuff, you had to go in a circle. The setting was oh. in the no, the setting of the show was in the sixties, but it didn't air in the sixties. It aired in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, early nineties, early nineties. Look, CLF. I know you know who else. I know y'all old men like what? Topanga. Topanga. Oh yeah, boy, yeah. Yes, but you know that. Uh, you, know you, you had to go yeah, there with the paint. But you know, right? make but you, but you know Ben Savage right? and Bryce Savage right? are brothers you know. in real life. Don't throw clashes at people, right? Know. You, know, okay. you know they're brothers, right? I didn't. Oh yeah, Ben Savage. Yeah, Ben Savage and Fred Savage are brothers. Fred Savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben Savage. But the paint yep, she, she, she still, yeah, she still fly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're brothers. But all right, let me get Casey Fred in there. Topanga Wally, that's impressive. Huh? You knew who Topanga was. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that young now. I, I mean, he, that's, I mean, that's, I that's, about, that's, that's about, about his age group, though. That's about his age group. Either that or, like, either that or I, I know you remember girl, girl Meets World. <laughs> girl Meets World. Like, no, seriously, yeah, yeah. growing up. That's, that's probably Wally's age group, Girl Meets World. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, was it? No. Dog, I'm teasing you, but no, they did make a show yeah. called Girl Meets World. It only lasted like two, it only lasted like two seasons though. It was on the Disney Channel. Hey, but y'all, y'all want to know the funny thing with all this? How everybody's reminiscing. My man Fred was watching a uh, Night Rider and Mash. Oh yeah. Hey, my man Fred had the the Fonzie jacket. He had the leather. Yo, man. Watching the Green Hornet and shit. Stop playing. (laughs) You you, you watching Golden Girls, too? (laughs) I used to to, to watch all those shows at my grandmother's house. I used to watch them all, bro. MASH, Knight Rider, all all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I've never seen MASH. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh, my God. He too young, man. It ain't his fault. He too young. (laughs) <laughs> but nah, he, he dodged the bullet. That shit was terrible, man. You go back, you watch some of the old shows and like the, yeah, it was the pixelation show. on them. You like, it what was, the it hell was is a, it? It was a racist, <laughs> racist show on that too, bro. It was pretty crazy. Oh, man. man. Nah. But all right, let me go ahead and go to Casey Fred. Casey Fred, why did yeah. you give this your rating? Uh, 
honestly, I will say this was long. And mm-hmm. being that it was so predictable, mm-hmm. uh, I felt like I couldn't get any higher than that. But it was it was so cool. It wasn't – I kept going back between average and very good. The reason why I gave it very good is because – I like the twist of the female perspective of her all of a sudden running the plays mm-hmm. and all of a sudden we all trying to figure out, okay, what play is this? Mm-hmm. You know? And then of course, uh, her as smooth as she is and knows how to run all these plays was right in front of her face. She never even saw. Yep. And it was, and I just thought that was so cool because I mean, for us guys, we all have mothers and our moms have told us, Man, some girl gonna have to hit you over the head to drag you down to the altar. So I mean, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, us guys, a lot of times we miss right what's right in front of us, and that's exactly what happened to her. So, uh, like I said, I thought it was very good. Um, like I said, it was. I also like that it was a a, a no play uh, play call to baby to uh, get him at the end, which mm-hmm. is what he said. You know when they was planning all this stuff. And so uh, you could tell it was real genuine and stuff like that at the end and stuff. It had a good ending. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was really cool, uh, but it did take a long time to get there. So that's the only reason why I felt mm-hmm. like I couldn't get it higher than what it was, but it was good though. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Why'd you give it your rating? Um, I feel like I kind of already said it at the beginning. If I, fall asleep that many times during the movie. I feel like it cannot be above a seven. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't her love story. That's what it was. So yeah, yeah. All right, Wally. Why'd you give it that your rating? Oh uh, man. What did Wally what did you give it again? I gave it a six. Oh okay. Explain. Shout out to Wally. Explain yourself, sir. I will explain. I will explain. Explain yourself. I will. Explain yourself, fool. (laughs) (laughs) You know what this movie reminds me of? That's that's what 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 movie do. This movie reminds me of of a modern day hitch. Yeah, yeah. Literally. The modern day hitch. Good comparison. The yeah. only difference is Gina is now playing Will Smith's character, mm-hmm. but she's the one just doing the plays, landing mm-hmm. plays, and just mm-hmm. making moves as they go. But as things propel, of course, voila, you know, you get into this romance, you get to a little bit of this, you get a little bit of that. A little nice little twist, you know, other than that, but that was just the major thing. It was just that for me. Um, but I will sit here and say, I mean, for what it is, it, it was pretty good. I just... I couldn't just get over it for me. It's like it wasn't just enough for me. I don't know because it wasn't just enough for me to just really give it more than what it was for me right now. Can I, Wally, so. Wally, can I bag you up a little bit? Mm-hmm. On the, you say modern day hitch, but if you think about it, before that movie even came out, it reminded me of Boomerang. Yeah, where I would say you mm-hmm. got a taste of your own medicine. medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Boomerang was a little different. I just watched Boomerang very was, recently again. Yeah, was, this is a little bit. Yes, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, this, is, this is because he didn't have it. I, I can see have the a correlation a little bit. But he didn't. But he didn't have Boomerang a is a classic. Helping, but he didn't have a group of friends helping him run the plays though. That was just it was just it was Eddie Murphy just doing it. He, he did Marcus Graham did it all by himself. Yeah, right. Marcus yeah. Graham. Yeah, he called it Marcus. True. Marcus. But they Marcus. did it. As a, they did it as a, collectively as a group. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I mean, other than that part, I, I think this is another thing that really hits home because the fact, like I said before, when it made when we talk about the obvious point of them being together and that that was going to be the conclusion of it, mm-hmm. it, it just like for me is like, all right, y'all knew this since the jump, and y'all try to just keep this platonic in somewhat ways, but it's like you knew this is where it is at. What more did you need? Uh, for me, it was just like, all right, y- y'all just fishing around, and y'all just know that y'all should be more than this. So, um, that's just my, that's just me. I just look at it and say, it's good, but I won't give it that much. Who knows? I'll try it late, later on. All right, all right. Man, a genius. Why did you yeah. give it that ridiculous rate? I, I mean, you're right. I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. <laughs> when I first started watching this movie, in the beginning, I was like, yo, this is a fire romantic comedy because it's a completely different spin, like running plays. And then they like, they have all this stuff like locked in. So it's like the originality 
for a romantic comedy, I actually was had this in like 10 classic category in mm-hmm. the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then um, due to its like predictability, I knocked it down a point to a nine. Yeah. And then um, uh, just the, the ending, I really hate it. Uh, <laughs> and, and just like the, it's like, it was, when you think about the the reality of it, I know it's a comedy and stuff like that. Mm. Um, they had such good elements, but then they had some really bad elements that were like glaring. Um, and that's how I dropped it down from a nine to an eight. But they were like big, big things. But yeah, this this would have been a classic if they would have uh, if the ending would have been a little bit different, and it could have had like the same result to their getting together. But you know, I think uh, he should have. They should have had a. Well, I'll get to things I would change, but yeah, Manic. I had to knock it down a Can couple. Can I tag on Man- what Manic's saying a little yeah. bit? Because yeah. this is another thing: the plays, like the plays, didn't end up doing nothing other than just getting like. The way I'm looking at the plays, but they were creative. Opening. They were creative. Like oh, yeah. if you I mean, that wrong, opening scene, don't you, don't you yeah, the opening scene was good, right? As far as you think about it, like sports in some ways, like you making the yeah. plays, like you making the playbook mm-hmm. and all that. I like that. But my yeah. thing was when it just came down to, I'm like, so the plays are just getting just action. That that was the only play. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, ah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's I like, ah. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's all good. No, She's a sports I get it, jer- but a sports my thing is, when I was thinking yeah. about the plays at the beginning, I thought this was going to be a little bit more than that because the way they were talking about towards the beginning, I'm like, ah, uh, my ah. Uh. Now the first play that they ran yeah. when the guy was like, that "Oh, I'm gonna dope. get the girl." That, first... that that shit was fire. No, that was, was fire. That first play, that first play was good. The first one was good. The first play, the first play was fire. It wasn't good. It was fire. It was gonna happen afterwards. That what I was hoping for, but it's like it was just oh okay. Well, that, that's what and they about. made it. They made it realistic. They made the play work initially, but then he fucked up because he forgot her name. And then it's just like, wait a minute, yeah. you don't know your girl's name. So it's just like but that's reality. Like any, things can go well, so well, until where you think it's gonna be good, and then you make one little mistake, and women catch up on that. Like ah, uh, nah, something's something's off. Yeah, can I tag? So that's, that's realistic. I that's sound like y'all be lying said. out here. Can I tag yeah. on what he just said? If I'm not mistaken. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, and then it didn't even matter because dude was bisexual anyway. Remember, he was ready to pick up the yeah, guy. Yeah, that was, and that that was a that was a spin that I was just like, it was a win win uh, for him. Okay, win win. Yeah, for him. I didn't see that coming. I did not. <laughs> I didn't see that. it coming either. <laughs> it was a, a win win for him. So I guess but it's like they it. incorporated a whole different community in that. Like, yeah, like so hey, maybe, we got a he we got a black guy, we got a we got a Hispanic woman, we got a yep. white guy, we got two white guys, two white like, guys. we got and one was pan, <laughs> Indian, I'm pretty sure he was like, pansexual or something. Yeah, this is like. They did an excellent job of uh, getting the cast together and making it feel realistic because it's like mm-hmm. even, you know, even uh, Damon Wayans Jr., like he's not your 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 typical stereotype of what you see as a black male in most movies. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it, it actually worked together. I could really see them actually being friends. Mm-hmm. So they did it. Yeah, they did an excellent job casting. Good chemistry. Good chemistry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good excellent chemistry. chemistry. Enough chemistry to look like they're going to go over the over the top. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Why do you- this was definitely a 5.5. 5. This was decent. <laughs> hey, before you Sorry start cooking, to come at- I was huh? going to ask you one question. What the fuck you do, Rob Thanos? You got, you got that glow in the dark Ruby's cube back there? <laughs> it's, it's like an infinity stone back there, yo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gangsta, <laughs> <ain't> it? <laughs> yeah, I got that hyper cube. Like yeah, that thing, it, 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 it got all these patterns and stuff. But, man, I, I had to give this a 5.5, 5, man. I I do like the beginning scene. I thought that was like pretty clever. Uh, like Manny said, I like the I do like the first cast. You know, I thought the one guy that was like, like y'all said, pans, whatever. Yeah, he was one. definitely funny. So yeah, I, I thought everybody. it was a, like a funny cast, but mm-hmm. the first part I didn't like was just the fact like she had to even run some plays. You know, pretty girl is like, come on, man. She could have just ran up to that guy that lived in her. <laughs> that have, have it it would have went down. So there is no need, yeah. need for her to run no place. Yeah. And then I, did, <laughs> I just got tired with the, and I'll probably get to this more where my man uh, Damon Wayne Jr. You know, mm-hmm. end up hooking up with a uh, three hundred four. You know, I'm I'm tired of that. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that whole prototype. <laughs> I'm like, man, I, I wish they would have. Like, we'll get into it. And it what do I change with the movie? But yeah, I, yeah, I'm like, come on, man. Why, why guys kind of keep? <laughs> Mm-hmm. They could have just remained friends or something like that. So yeah, mm-hmm. I definitely didn't like that spin. Too predictable. And then I think they try to force too much humor some in some places. Mm-hmm. Thought it was pretty funny. I like like I said, like the cast, but 
seemed like they was forcing too much humor. So yeah, I don't I don't know how y'all got above uh, seven point five on this. <laughs> I felt the exact opposite. I, I felt like the humor was like in the nice pockets, exactly where yeah. it needed to be. I, I felt it like was. they didn't try. They didn't. They didn't force it. I felt the complete opposite. Yeah, I do like the one girl that you you was talking about though, and I, we could cover that. Uh, I Ashley. forgot her name. Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. She was, she yeah. she she was pretty funny. So I did like hers, yeah. and I like I said, I like the one. It was, it, was, it, was, it was funny. It was funny when they enlisted her to help. Yeah. Oh she, yeah. She, she was, was a good addition because I mean part, it was getting dry part until funny, like. Bro. I thought it was getting pretty flat until they bought her back in. So, but all right, let me go around real quick. I'll start with myself on this. Like, would you recommend this movie to anyone? Would you watch this again? No, I wouldn't watch it again. I, I would recommend it to somebody. <laughs> no. All right, I'll go to Manic on that. Yeah, I'd recommend this movie and I'd watch it again. All right, Wally. Would I recommend? Yes. Would I watch it again? I ain't gonna lie, there was one part of the movie that was so cringe that we made me not watch this again. Which one? Which but one? you know what? The cringe part was actually the funny part a little bit for me. Okay, you know that moment where she was talking about um with that guy that brung up the mail that had that red yeah. shirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, red yeah. Okay, the fisherman. Right when they, yeah, right when they were getting jiggy, she had said something. I forgot what she said, but she had said something. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, and yeah, I was she... like, that was that was just the, the way she said it, I'm like, why would you ever say that? Like, that sounds so off putting in my mind. But that one right there was a little, like, it was the funny part, but at the same time, it was just like the cringe moment for me. I was like, okay. But would you have stopped if it was you, Ollie? Don't lie. Was it that cringe worthy? I wouldn't say it if it was. <laughs> like, literally, if I was literally <laughs> thinking of it, like, in the moment of her saying it. Like if, if we were in the moment of like getting jiggy and I'm like she said it, I'm like I probably wouldn't pay no mind to it ultimately. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Don't fall for them traps, Wally. She tried to tap you in there. Ah, uh, yeah, she no, no, I got you know, amazing good, but she you know I'm, I'm <laughs> all right, amazing. Would you recommend this movie to anyone and would you watch this again? Um, I would recommend it and I feel like I have to watch it again to give it maybe another run through, but not anytime soon. I need a break from it. Okay. Well, watch that in another room when I'm not around, please. <laughs> All right, Casey Fred. Would you recommend this and would you watch this again? Um, I think yes and yes, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, damn. All right. What about you, CLS? Uh, yeah, yes and yes. Yeah, I would watch it again. Recommend it. Yeah. All right. So I'll start with Manic on this. What did you think about the plot or the storyline? Oh man, I, I liked the um I thought the I thought the plot was very predictable. Um just how every, they strung everything along. Um actually I don't really know what the plot was. The plot <laughs> the plot was kind of like it just, I mean, it just really was a, it, it wasn't really a, a, it was just a fun movie. Um, so I, I didn't really think there was too much in depth with the plot. Um, I'll say the storyline was fun to follow along. Um, but like I said, very predictable. And I'll just end it there. Go ahead, Wally. All right, Wally. <laughs> All right. As far as the plot, I mean, the plot is, you know, pretty traditional as far as like any type of rom com loves, you know, love story. Uh, but the only difference was the ideal person that they were going for, that was the only twist, right, as far as who was the ideal person. So that was a nice little twist. Um, as far as the story goes, I mean, it, it's pretty solid. You know, it's pretty solid around. It, it's still good and all fun. Okay. All right, amazing. What did you think about the plot or the storyline? I thought it was just very predictable. It just it, it was it was a straightforward rom com that I, I again and I think uh, Manic said he knew too. Like literally when he, when um the friend was walking her to the train station, which was in the first couple minutes of the movie, yeah, I felt like he knew credits. right away. Like oh, it'll be those two. What yeah. was that? I said it, it was damn near in the credits when the like you know the title rolled by. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, th I thought it was it was long. I just felt like um, it could it could have been funny. I don't know if it was long was the reason I I had trouble with this one, but um, I, I thought it was very predictable. 
I did I did like the twist of it being her just because that was different than a lot of them, but that's all I have. Okay. All right, Casey Fred. I I have to agree with everyone. I did think it was very um predictable. Uh the thing for me when it came to the storyline was the simple fact I remember a statement that uh she makes in there. And um Mac, she says, um, you know, I want I want to adult. Uh, it's time to start adulting. Mm-hmm. And that was the reason why she kind of picked this guy. And, you know, she had a thing with Adam, but that was when they were young. Mm-hmm. And so at the very end, she finally realized, hey, I want somebody that's going to adult with me and be with me and love me where I am right now. And so that's how it ended up coming. Uh, I was waiting for Manny to kind of say that this felt like a Christmas story because to me, I don't know if anybody felt a little life time or whatever up in here, but that in me, I get what everybody was saying because that's what it kind of reminded me of. And I was like, is it Christmas all over again? I, I, it was just like, you know, would have been really cool if I was saying, we'll talk about it later. I have a few thoughts on the ending, but um, hmm. yeah, the storyline, I just thought, you know, this is a coming of age type of movie mm-hmm. where all of a sudden I felt like they were like, you saw them run their plays, but I felt like, okay, this is the last time we're going to do this, which when they finally found love and she tells the story about her parents and stuff, mm-hmm. realize that's really what everyone is looking for. You know, someone that's going to love them for them and all of a sudden uh, be with them and get old with them to the end of time. And mm-hmm. so um, I thought that was the essence of what, and then of course they put humor throughout it and you see the journey and stuff, but you kind of already knew from the very beginning, it was like, okay, especially when you found that old boy was gay or bisexual or whatever you guys say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge is getting narrow, it's down to just these two, okay, Mac and Adam, mm-hmm. it's you two, mm-hmm. let's go, you know. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> So you no. kind of figured it out, but um, yeah. Now that's actually a nice breakdown because that actually yeah, is that true. was a good breakdown, Casey. Yeah, mm-hmm. that it is. Yeah, I will say though. Can I make I just wanna, one? I just wanna... Go, Go ahead, ahead. man. I was just gonna say really quick. Um, uh, even though the dude was like by Brannigan, mm-hmm. like I appreciate it in this movie they didn't like show and force us to watch. You know, him making out with a dude or something like that. They just like. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, he just went off with the guy, and then they just come back. And it's just like, because I feel like a lot of times movies, you know, more and more start, you know, kind of push that. And it's just like, it makes it uncomfortable for people who, you know, don't want to see that. So I appreciate the director and, you know, them not forcing us to watch something and just keeping it fun the whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he was actually, I, I, I liked him the most out of the movie, man. Who, like, who, 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 Brannigan? Yeah, yeah he, he was, was funny, funny. man. Oh, uh, it was it was it was something I was gonna. I don't know if we got that part yet about the scenes or uh, no, nah, not yet, not yet. Let me uh, actually, it's, wait, it's wait, let me add, amazing was about to say something. To say, yeah, I just the only thing I wanted to say. I think Fred also had a great review, but I I did want to point out that I feel like it's more Hallmark and Lifetime is more like crazy woman. Yeah, yeah. Hallmark uh, is. Yeah. Oh yeah, happy. homework is happy, 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 happy. Oh happy. wow! So, uh, they got, okay, they got, they got somebody the might get killed. All the Christmas movies on Hallmark and shit. <laughs> no, this this shit was like Nickelodeon to me. <laughs> uh, Nickelodeon, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, it was nah, like nah. I'm, I'm giving Nickelodeon. I'm maybe two. Yeah, the way years. she jumped on, the way she jumped on that fisherman. I, I looked, I looked at the scene again, Wally. I think you're talking about the one scene where it's like you're a big fisherman. Is that the one you're saying that that was weird to say? Yeah, the, yeah. No, she she said you're like a big that. fisherman. You're like, why would you say that? Something like that. Something. Like, like she takes off his shirt and she's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's trying yeah, to hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Okay. Nah, I mean, but that's realistic. Women, women say stuff like that. They do. No, because I think she said something that, like I said, in my head, I thought she said something else. That's why I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. But yeah, well, nonetheless. Dude, she was trying to get plowed. <laughs> she wanted to get yeah, plowed. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> yep. Sorry, right, CLS. What you what you think about the the plot of the storyline? I mean, you guys pretty much summed it up already. I mean, like this, you know, like it was, um, like I said, it, was, it just felt like a, you know, like I said, feel good, traditional romantic comedy. 
You said it was relatable, though. It was very, it was very relatable. Oh yeah, very relatable. But it was like I said, and like the ending and everything, it was also predictable too. Because we know her and Adam, ultimately her and Adam were gonna end up together. But overall, I, I liked it. I would watch it again. I like. Wait, now when you say relatable, were you in a crew like this, or you were in that friendship? I know what it put like put it like this because oh. I was gonna add this. I just I didn't know we were at that part yet. I, I've been in a situation. You um, I say you fall in love with one of your best friends. And you're afraid to take it to the next level out of fear because if it doesn't work out now you just lost your best friend you, you lost your partner and you just lost your best friend and sometimes it's hard to you can't it's hard to pass things back up you know especially if it ends on a bad note you know what i mean you won't be able you're gonna oh, lose okay, your friend you. yeah so, yeah i've been Another in that situation before, so you just don't cross that line you know what movie. i mean huh that, that's no. one big time lesson of this whole movie <laughs> sometimes mm. this is why you don't have friendships <laughs> yeah i didn't even i don't know why i didn't yeah, grasp the concept yeah. i was like when you get old ass out here running plays and shit that's no, why I thought no. he was talking about relatable. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But you gotta think about it. Yeah, but you gotta think about it. Trying to bag chicks. No, I, that never happened. I'm just talking about the other stuff. The best friend. No, nah, that, that that definitely okay. No, nah, that that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is relatable. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I might I might actually go up a little bit now. Yeah, you made a connection for me. Yeah, but, but all right, I'll mean, let you kick it off with the scenes and performances. Uh, CLS. Well, I guess well, Manning already mentioned the opening scene. Uh, like I said, that was that was really good. Was, and you know, to set the pace for the film, I really like that yeah, the yeah. opening scene. Um, it kind of jumped around a little bit. Um, the um, the Yankee Stadium scene when they're sitting on the grass, and you know, she was telling them, you know, the type of love she wanted. That like that you're talking about how much her parents loved each other. The way um, her father um, looked at her mom. That was a good scene. Uh, what was it? The scene with Ashley when they recruited her, and she was like, um, "What did she say?" She was like, yeah, sure, I'm in. You know what I mean? I, you know, she was like, um, what she said, uh, <laughs> I would, it, it would be nice to see how old people date, you know, because I just use an app. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? Uh, what was it the park scene when she was pretending to be drunk? That that was funny. And she was like, he was like, and he was like, the dude Nick was like, he said, does she does she know those people? She was like, no, and now she's about now she's about to eat a stranger stingus. That was that was <laughs> whatever the hell the is. I don't know. It was it, it looked gross, whatever it was. Yeah. All right, Casey. Let me go to Casey Fred. What scenes or performances stuck out to you in the movie? Um, I uh, there was like little scenes, but basically the the thing of it was was with Mac and um, how all of a sudden you see that character development of her growing, and really her. Uh, going through all these different guys and stuff but then the reality of it is is she meets this mountain that she's never captured and this is where she wants to realize that hey he's a flat out an adult and it's time for me to start adulting and um and uh and then she gives that one line that sticks with everyone almost all the way to the end of the movie and that is you know i want to be able to have a drawer in somebody's place mm -hmm. and then the reality was when she finally gets that drawer i'm not gonna lie it was just like i don't know it reminded me of the wizard of oz when you finally pulled back the curtain <laughs> you mm -hmm. realize who the odds were <laughs> it was mm -hmm. just the biggest right, right. down ever yeah. Yeah. and um it was oh, just like worked. you felt bad like really bad for her and then there was another thing, uh, another moment uh, for me that I felt really bad. Like she really, in her field, her job, being a sports writer, she puts her own self into this um, piece that she's really trying to get. In fact, she doesn't even want to publish it or, you know, she wants it because it's so personal, it's so private. Mm -hmm. And she has, you know, many people that's in her life and, you know, help her and stuff. and. And then she, for some strange reason, she really is falling for this guy. And she tells him that she wants him to read it. And what does he do? Instead of just giving feedback, which is what she asked, he mm -hmm. wrote the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time to tell the truth and they finally confront each other, he says flat out, well, I knew that you was about to lose your job. And I was like, you know what? Let me just save you. And let me just tell you the truth. This was trash. And she was like, I put myself into this. So you telling me I'm trash? And that was the kind of consensus that she got from that. 
And I felt like uh, everybody could kind of relate to that as well, mm -hmm. where you try to put your heart and soul into something, but people, other people don't see the value of what you bring to the table. And I just thought that was so cool. And then uh, she got validated because one thing, her real boss didn't see it that way, you know? And I know this guy was a big time writer and this, that, and the other, mm -hmm. but her own boss, you know, didn't see it that way and pr promoted her at the end. And that was just her being true to herself. And I'm just going to send it. I'm not going to send his stuff. I'm going to send my stuff, what I originally wrote and stuff. And so I really thought that was cool because that was a part of the adulting that she was trying to be at. You know, once you go to another level, you don't want to go back down. You want to stay up here. You know what I'm saying? And then she was like, I want to be like my mom and dad and find someone that meets me at the level that i'm at and this is the level i'm at and um and so at the end you know adam was like hey i want that same thing too and in mm -hmm. fact i want you and i thought that was really cool uh at the end it was just the way they did it though mm -hmm. <laughs> reminded me of uh as amazing said the hallmark version or whatever <laughs> mm -hmm. but other than that i thought it was really cool and like I said, I enjoyed the movie. I think that's what was one of the scenes you mentioned, uh, Fred, where uh, <clears throat> it like deepened my like dislike for the female. Because I mean, <laughs> yeah. she gonna take constructive criticism. Like my man just gave yeah. her some like actual truths. He was like, "Hey man, yeah, that wasn't yeah. the best piece." But he, he could it for. Her. But yeah, that wasn't. But I think the point was he should talk to her about it first. He didn't even talk about it. Have a conversation with yeah, her. About I mean, it she first. was like hounding him because he didn't even want to read the shit. He was like, "Man, I got better stuff to do. I'm and over he here really winning." Wrote why would you want to be with a guy like that? He's selfish. Right. But I think so honestly, yeah, but that's the bait trap. No, yeah, no, 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 no. He, he's not just listen. Now he's he's not trolling because like when you look at it from his perspective. He's a super successful writer who's he hardworking mm -hmm. and he's honest. So he honestly read her amateur ass work and was like, yeah, yeah. you got to fucking change this. Is it? He did her a favor. So and that's how he's seen it. And mm. that's the reality. Listen, listen, that's the reality. I think women uh, get this really mixed up when they say they want an ambitious, hardworking man. It's like hey, if you get somebody who's hardworking and ambitious and who's honest about it and it's their craft, it's their lane. He's going to tell you, hey. Uh, he's going to tell you the truth and she didn't like the truth and the jerk is right. She could not con take that constructive criticism and a, a person who was successful would have took that and said, dang, let me step my game up and, and, and write better. But no, she was like, you, you took the very essence of what I wrote. I poured my heart and soul. And it's like, yeah, you did, but it sucked. Like that doesn't change <laughs> that it sucked. I'm a professional writer. I almost want a Pulitzer prize. I did you a favor by reading this and reviewing this. Like you yeah, should be Yeah, but grateful. that was the point. Their, See, their the lanes point, were too different. Yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. If, exactly. If she but, would have submitted his work, it would have been kicked back because the audience was so different. It's like yeah. when you're an opera. Yeah, yeah, look, that's, 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 y'all are missing the point. Y'all yeah, the, point, the point is she asked him. She asked for his Yeah, because you remember she was hounding him. He he didn't want to read this shit. He was like, Yeah, I know you're a mediocre writer. Not rewrite it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah but you back. can't you can't ask it. you can't ask somebody to edit it. No, I want to know your notes. I want so, you. I want to get your feedback. Yeah, his feedback. feedback that's he, way feedback. different than rewriting a paper. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, too, 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 too. you got to understand. He he had he had uh they crossed so many different levels. I mean, he slept with her. They were together. So you don't think he's gonna want to be more honest with her? If she was just some side joint, then he might have been like, oh yeah, I read it. It's really good. I think you should submit it. But he so, had a deep relationship with her, so he's gonna man, give her the truth. Manny, well, then, on, she just couldn't handle it. Yeah. She's not ready for a guy like that. Hey, that's yeah, it. that's why she, she had to go back with the friend zone, dude. Dude, he did yeah, That's why she had to go with the sucker. That was the point. He didn't but, no. but, did but let me get in here. Because I because I'll say this, right? On one side, I agree with y'all, right? That you have a point. She's mm -hmm. talking about she wants an adult, but you wasn't ready for the adult lifestyle, right? You wasn't really there, which Fact. was Fred pointed out before, right? Because she's trying to find someone to adult with her, not actually get there with someone that's already there exactly so she wasn't ready for that switch that's clear which is what freaking um was her friend adam pointed out in the movie you wasn't ready for that because he pointed out a lot of the big factors you're doing all these things to press him to lock and load with him but the thing is mm -hmm. what's he really doing for you on your end 
Yep. Nothing. He don't really know you like that. You don't so know the like fact that. of the matter is, but now here's the other argument, right? She's a sports writer. Mm-hmm. He is a writer of books that yep. does have nothing to do with sports. Yep. So my thing is you have to understand, you're getting in contact with the sports. Like, think about this. When you think about sports, if you watch or however it may be, right, what sports person do you listen to? And think about how they talk, how they break down things when they talk about certain people. That's where she's at, and that's her lane. He's mm-hmm. not in that same lane, so he's not thinking that way. Yep. So my thing is when you think about how she's writing, how she's going with it, there is a big major difference. Now, I will sit here and say, granted, that's her fault because at the end of the day, you cannot sit there and ask somebody that doesn't know your lane and then be mad at the results of what he gives you because he's thinking the way he's thinking. But she All was right. pressing them too, because she mm-hmm. you remember she kept on oh, asking, no. and then yeah, they was I, like, I, I, Oh, he didn't even weeks. have the time to read it and stuff. So I think that's ago. huh? Uh, yeah, two weeks. Oh. Let me let me just give it, let me just give a quick analogy, right? So everybody knows Chris Brown, he's a singer, right? right. Mm-hmm. His lane is singing. When Chris Brown decides to rap, he's a great rapper. Oh, because yeah. he is an artist, he yep. creates what music. Fuck, yeah, so so yeah. so hold on, follow me, Fact, follow me here. This guy is a writer. A professional mm-hmm. writer. He's at the top mm-hmm. level. So it doesn't matter if he decides to switch to sports lane. He's going to be a great fucking writer. He's going to know mm-hmm. how to put things together. No, However, the writing part is not he, he, can play, he can play basketball too. Can I? Yeah, can but I I'm just, I'm just saying the lane is the lane is writing. It doesn't matter if it's a sports article or if it's a Pulitzer Prize. Ah, he hit the highest no, level. I it's way harder different. to write. Yeah. It's way I harder to get a Pulitzer though. Prize. It is different, but I'm saying what I'm saying is there's levels to this, and it's like it's easier to write a sports article for mm-hmm. a, a new newspaper that nobody even watches because she's doing turtle races, so she's at a low level. She tells you half people don't even like my stuff. I'm not that great a writer. She literally says it herself. She admits it, she and then she has a Pulitzer Prize dude who's like at the top of the level. Mm-hmm. His writing skills are far way better than her so it's just like if he dumbs himself down to start talking about sports it may not have the like fun spinny the heartfelt stuff but it's going to be a great article mm-hmm. and I, you know she just couldn't take that feedback i guarantee you if she would have no, submitted his article part. she didn't want yeah. the truth she didn't want the no, truth she I, didn't want to be better. Bro, it was his delivery it was his delivery bro his delivery. Uh, she wanted, yeah, she wanted back stuck. in the streets. Yeah. She wanted to go back to the streets. She didn't want the truth. It's, 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 no. CLS, CLS. Dude, I, I agree he, to CLS's she point. She delivery did like, stuff. He didn't know. He didn't know her. That was the point. He didn't know her. Like know her, know her. Okay. But I'm so, telling you, you get around successful people, their delivery most likely sucks because they don't have time to like sugarcoat shit. They right. got to keep it moving. Yeah, he was to the got, point. He's like, look. Yeah. He was efficient. Police. You hounded me. I gave you the feedback. You didn't like it. She was like, well, you erased me from the whole article. Like, come on, let's be honest, too. Like, what newspaper article when it wanted to hear her story about? Oh, come on, man. Like, that means, that means he didn't story. care about her. Like, go ahead, Brian. Here's, here's, here's the thing I really want to say. We're zooming in on a focal point, but widen your lens a little bit. Yeah. The real big thing of it is, is this. She fell for this guy. Yep. And the simple mm-hmm. fact of it is, is this. She was looking for love. She talked about it even with her parents. She begun the relationship on a lie too, Fred. This dude dude liked her, liked her enough to give her a drawer, but not a room. So at the end of the day, you find out there's a different level. He's on this level. I like you. I like spending time with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not where you're at. And this is why I'm telling you, because if I really love you, I would save your feelings. If I really love you, then you know what? It's not. Here's a a phrase that I always tell people. Sometimes it's not what you say, but it's how you say it that makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And the simple fact of it is, is this. He gave it to her raw. And sometimes y'all know everybody made love before. It, it ain't always about the raw. Sometimes you got to be slow and easy, smooth with your stuff. And that's not how he came off with the situation. <laughs> I'm on some so DMX shit. Nice oh, like Usher. I know you're going to say nice and slow at first, like Usher. <laughs> yeah. I want to be slow and Oh, man. I'm about to be DMX. You said uh, Keith key Sweat over here. Uh, in case you put on what you're talking no, about that no, no that's more. A begging, no, he's begging. <laughs> now you're you talking apples and oranges. Keith Sweat is a begging hey, motherfucker. You know, <laughs> give him uh, a lie. But at the end of the day, she couldn't handle the truth. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah, man facts. took his time to read that shitty article, provide her mm-hmm. with some Pulitzer Prize feedback, nah. and she mm-hmm. could have hacked it and went back to Adam. 
and Adam was hating because Wally had a good point. Adam was like breaking all this stuff down. Adam was hating. Adam was like, "Oh, he yeah, didn't yeah. know you. He, he, he was, was over there hating. He was, hating. He was jealous. Yeah, Adam, Adam was hating. Give it that, that sideline yeah, feedback. Was, yeah, of course he was yeah. jealous a little bit because she didn't, you know, she didn't know his true feelings in, in, in that moment. At the time, she didn't know. Yeah. But they flat out said, "Man." Adam's been loving her since what? What was it? Second grade? What? I don't know. Yeah, how long yeah. Yeah. In the opening, yeah. in the opening yeah. scene, they, they talk about they messed over around years. a little bit. Yeah, over time. Yeah, but see, but that's the thing. Adam didn't took the shot. He should have just took the see, and this is the why yeah. you do not hold on to friendship. You got to take your shot, even if it hurts. Yeah, but you risk losing that friend. You know. I mean, but you're gonna lose him anyway. It makes, if it doesn't look, work out, like this, you know? it does makes it awkward. But at the same time, it's like, look, better you told me than not. I rather just let it be known, like. Right. Hey, freaky. But sometimes people are afraid to take that risk, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't hit the reset and that's button. True. You can't hit and the reset true. button and go back to just being friends. You know what I mean? Right. And that's true. Sometimes that's a work in progress. Yeah. This was all role reversal, though. It was, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, and remember, you remember what she said when they were on the bikes about uh, what, what she said? Her grandma was like, You're probably, I'm probably going to die before you get married. <laughs> right, right, right. Before, yeah. <laughs> so, so she felt pressure. That's what she was telling Adam when they were on the bikes. So oh, she felt, she felt pressure. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like she, I got to find a husband. You know. Yeah. All right, amazing. Did you give your scenes? No, I just had a couple. Um, the one thing I just to me, if feedback is completely. If I ask somebody for feedback, that's like some pointers. It's not rewriting a whole yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. And I think she. She took him as being he was, I agree, super successful. Their lanes were just so different. It would be like somebody who writes comics act, acting somebody who writes documentaries. Hey, can you fix my stuff? I'm, mm-hmm. I I want to know about like commas and some input. If you say add this or that, not rewrite. They're just to me, they were completely different lanes where feedback is yeah truly but- here's some note, but not changing the whole thing. The other thing I wanted to add that, that was, nigga could have, you know, how, like you hand somebody like a like you hand like an instructor like a physical printout of your work, like a paper. Like he could, she could have handed him a printout and he could have got a post it and just wrote notes on that post it and stuck it back on the damn paper. Like, right. Well, <laughs> I'm um, going back to just the lanes being completely different. She's like a newspaper writer. Yeah. I don't. I mean, it's so. I mean, and he was writing books. He's doing yeah. books. books. So, like, even it was funny because I thought it was a very good point. When the friends even pointed out, like, he hasn't read it yet. Like, he could re- read that going number two on the toilet. How long does it take you to read two pages? If you like somebody, <laughs> you are gonna you make time for what you want to make time for. If yeah. it takes two minutes, you're going to make time for it. So I but think, see, that, that's again, fine. If you got a so deadline, yeah. He's a right. successful but person. Anyway, There's a reason why he's team. successful. And, and Brandon so, said he could take, um, he said, that's like half a shit for Brandon. Remember he said that? That's, that's exactly. half a shit. One shit. Because exactly. I don't have to read two and a half pages in five minutes. <laughs> a yep. Um, so going on though, um, the other scenes, um, I did think it was just I, I like the fact that um I know I think CLS you had mentioned like the grandma making the point. I think so mm-hmm. many people yeah. they they just think they have forever. Mm-hmm. Um and 30. these people are in their 30s. And she's 33 years old. Once you get past 30, 30, men and women, you should know better. Like if you're over thirty, you to me you get no more passes at that point, men or women. Like, come mm-hmm. on, grow up. You're, you're she she was comfortable in them streets. She was thirty three, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, right. He gonna keep this hard. <laughs> <laughs> he be like, this is a, she, she was cozy people. in the streets. Can, can I? I don't know if yeah. you guys can I add on to something that you said a minute ago. Just so when you were talking about um, type of and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys watched the show, um, but uh, Gina Rodriguez, uh, Mac McKenzie, uh-huh. she's on. Yeah. You know that? Have you guys ever watched her show? She does a show called Not Dead Yet. No, nah, I never seen it. Nah. Never seen it. She was bigger on that show, right? It still comes on. It's on season. No, I, saw, I saw the. I saw the different show she Dude, had. Though. It's really good. yeah. I saw the other show she had, like uh, the only, New Girl or something. No, nah, she's still know. on. She used to be on Jane the Virgin first. Yeah, that's what. Oh, right, right. Jane the Virgin. Yeah, Jane the Virgin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jane the Virgin. yeah. I only yeah, watched. Like, she ain't bad no more though. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's on this new, <laughs> but she, yo, she's on this new show though. Not dead yet. It's really good. The only reason I'm bringing it up because remember, um, was it like uh, they were at that? What was it? A uh, bar and they were shooting pool, and then that dude Nick was in that bar. Remember that was the like when they when they first met him. And I think what happened was what's the dude Brannigan? And Brannigan was like, uh, I write obituaries. I hate the living or something like that. He's because he, he writes obituary. The only reason I'm bringing up that show with Gina Rodriguez because that show that she's currently on right now, uh, not dead, not dead yet. 
she writes obituaries on that show and she communicates with with the dad that she's writing the obituaries about. And when she mm, when I'm she completes check that out. and when she completes the obituary, I, I know I think the same thing. It, it's really good, and they they disappear after she completes her work. And they oh, give okay. her what's it called? It's like they give her life lessons. Uh, it's called not not dead yet. Mm, look that up. It's really yeah. Good. She's she's a great what actress. Have, what did you have, Wally, to add? Uh, oh, sorry, Kirk. No, you good? Yeah, well, not dead yet. Oh, that's nice. All right. So, but yeah, the, but there is one thing because I'll say. Mm. But the only one small thing I would give defense to that whole scene overall is I think what they mentioned, like her job was like going to be like, I think it says at danger Nick. or something like that. Yeah, Nick. Mm -hmm. yeah but the no, only yeah. other thing, again, is like I get the newspapers randomly. I haven't, I'm not, well, I haven't got one lately. Um, when they say 50% read 50, I've never read a sports article in my life. Exactly. Um, so I'm just saying. So right there in the news article, I I always read the obituaries. I feel like yeah, but I've never. So you're not you're not really Anyways, into, you're not really into sports. No. Well, no, and that's what I'm saying. So of course it's fifty percent. I mean, the newspaper is going away in general, anyways. But anyhow, oh, yeah. I just have of a couple course, more things. People got phones. Uh, mm -hmm. The other things I had was. Um, uh, and, and this would actually kind of go back. Um, I'll, I'll tie it in just because I won't have much for chain. Um, but I felt like for them to have been like this, like senior crew who was doing all these plays, they made a couple like super amateur mistakes. So I know um, you guys had mentioned, I think Manic maybe mentioned earlier, like the name when the guy had said, like, he didn't know the girl's name. Like if you've been doing this for 10 years, that would be like super basic. Yeah. And then um, when she went to, I think it was like the opera or something. Yeah. Um, and she was like my brother. I knew right yeah. there. As soon as she said that, I was like, that would come to bite you if you actually want a relationship with this man, which yep. you're trying to get. Mm -hmm. you, you would have come up with something <laughs> other than a brother. Mm -hmm. um, so I just felt like it could have definitely been a mistake, but not for people that have been doing these plays for 10 yeah. plus years. And the double uh, date, fuck, so, the double date fucked that up. The double date. Yeah, but I think yeah. the com that part was the mm -hmm. comedy part, right? Like he went Penny, then he went to Poppy. Because let's be honest, it, at that point, you got to think about it, right? You would sit here and say that was a big error mistake, especially if you did this long term. But at the same time, the chick was like, oh, you ain't going to run after it? Like that was you, what you was thinking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Yeah, but like your the brother airhead. one? She okay. had been working to get him. So to say a brother, that was like rookie. I feel like I would have known better than that. And then, um, and then the only other scene that really stuck out to me was um, towards the end when she was like, I don't remember if she said you changed me or he, he was rewriting me or something along those effects. Uh, and yeah, I thought rewriting. you rewrote you like you were doing all of this stuff that <laughs> yeah. you didn't even want to do. So I feel yeah. like she was trying to win him over because they kind of like he rewrote me. No, you you changed your whole like. There's no way I would have eat a whole fish for somebody. That's gross. To me. Yeah. <laughs> um, she changed her, you know, like everything. And I was like, yeah. you yeah. should like. I don't know why. Yeah. Like when people talk about like they do crazy stuff just to get somebody's attention. Like yeah. I can give you maybe one or two things in the beginning, but when you change like your whole life, how do you think that like it's never gonna work out? Mm -hmm. Um, you were but like that was, eating. That was kind of her thing. character though. Yeah. Like she was over the top. Yeah. Even though the first scene with the fisherman, like she yeah. had the whole setup. She could have mm -hmm. just had the TV playing now. She had the tackle box out. She had the mm -hmm. little fishing rod by the way. You call it. <laughs> and she knew the rig, she knew the terminology. So she's yeah. she's she, she studies this stuff. Like she gets mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So that's just her character, her personality, mm -hmm. type A person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not good at I writing. just feel like they shouldn't have been like he he rewrote me. No, you you rewrote yourself to this character that you mm -hmm. thought he that he wanted. Yeah, that's a good point. That's all I have. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's a good point because you caught that. Like, I think we, I think, I mean, now that you're saying it, it's just like, yeah, she threw it on him, but it's actually her fault for trying to rewrite herself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's accountability. So I think the movie is accurate. So yeah, a lot of women like accountability. I think we've got oh. And <laughs> they can't take feedback. <laughs> that's evident now. And they can't take feedback. So this movie, this they director like is truth. on point. Lie to them. <laughs>
and said bitter in the, bitter in the butt, you know, with the brother thing. I mean, it was unintentional when he brought it up. He was like, she hasn't, she hasn't shared anything with me like over two years because she was like an only, must be an only child thing. And he was like, I thought you said yeah. you did with your brother. <laughs> you have a brother. I was like, oh shit. Like, he just looked at each other. Yo, that shit was smooth how they played it off though. It was smooth. Yeah, they did. They, 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 they had their stuff there. They did that shit though. But so, all right, cool. Wally, you had any any scenes you wanted to go over? Oh man, I think we all agree on the first scene. That was pretty nice. Um, I think like that major shift of knowing where this was gonna go was like that moment where Adam, you know, questioned Mac about you know her her angle as far as getting to know the guy, and I think that was like just the pivotal scene right there. That's that's my main one. Those are the main ones. Oh, let me not forget that girl, uh, Lisa. That one was funny. <laughs> when she got into that, was funny. I love her. I love her. Oh yeah, yeah, she was hilarious. All right, manic. What scenes? Uh, I mean, y'all hit most of the scenes that I was thinking of. Um, I'll just reiterate, just really quick. That opening scene was like perfect because it was so much information. You're like, plays. What's going on? And then it's like. You know, if you're listening to it, like uh, Amazing was saying, I was like, that probably would have been a little confusing. But like, as you're watching, you're seeing like the plays being drawn and ran. Like, so it's just like, mm -hmm. wow, they, they have. And it, it felt at first, it felt a little bit unrealistic. And then like later in the movie, when um, they introduced Ashley into it and then Ashley's like, so how long you guys been doing this? And like, they kind of give the background. It's like, it started because Brannigan had some terrible acne and they were just trying to get him laid. So they <laughs> got together and started this and it worked successfully and then they just grew over time and then it got to a point where hey this dude's a graphic designer or he's the visual guy and like they took this seriously and they have a book and all the plays are named out and they you know this is over the years they've like tried different ones and memorized it so i, I thought that was really clever because it's just like how did they get to that point and then they explain it but the director doesn't spend so much time explaining it it's just like hey i saw it. he put it in action and then Another scene later, it's like it's explained, and it's just like wow, it, it actually makes sense. It works. I love the scene where they break up because there's just so much realism in that scene. It's just like if you if you didn't know anything about her or her team, and the movie wasn't focused on her, and you looked at the movie from the guy's perspective, it's just like from the guy's perspective, he's taking this girl who's you know in a bad position, you know financially, and you know, he's like, yo, she's got some good qualities to her. Like, I'm a sophisticated guy. I have a routine. I like classical shit. I like, I like very particular things. And she can keep up. Like, I wasn't looking at her before because she's not at my level. I'm dating doctors, but I'm gonna give this girl a chance because she has all these things that, you know, commonalities and like something's drawing me to her. And if you if you come into a guy's life who has a very structured routine and who's successful, he's going to be truthful with you. And yes, there were some nuances where he could have broken down to her a little bit differently, but I don't think that was his priority. And if you think about it, the fact that he took all that time to write it and make those edits, like that's love right there. Like he could have just said, Facts. Oh, I read it. It was really good. But he's like, no, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to give my all to this because I really rock with her and I want her to be successful and I know that she's in a position where she could possibly lose her job. I'm going to put everything into this. I'm not going to just give her the, Oh yeah, it's good. You're going to be fired anyway in three weeks. No, I'm going to break this down to where like, I'm going to write this so good that she can't get fired after submitting some work like this. So it's just like, if you look at it from that perspective, yo, he actually put a lot of time and effort to that. So it's just like, and then she just walks away unappreciative. So it's just like, mm. Hey, just that, yeah, she, she was a subpar said. writer. And he came, he took Dude. time out of his. He didn't even want to read the shitty piece at the yeah. end of the day. She forced him. She was like hounding him. You know, they was all talking mess. So he finally took his time. He was trying to yeah. get laid too, bro. He was trying to get laid. Because remember, no, um, he, he was in the beginning. He wasn't. No, no, he was in the beginning, obviously. But after she kept appearing in the same type of things, she appeared when he's running. So she's, he's like, okay, she works out. Okay, she's culture. She knows about classical music. Oh, she mm -hmm. likes these outdoor concerts and, mm -hmm. and drinking. He's going by himself to all these things. Like he's right. he's good by himself. And he's just mm -hmm. like, yo, here's this girl who's always at the same places that I'm at. Like, mm -hmm. why not date her? You know, instead of going after the doctor type of women or the super professional women that I normally go for. And like yeah. my man doesn't look like he was struggling. So it's just like oh, no. 
Yeah. So he's been successful, but he's like, now I actually found an organic connection with somebody because we have all of the common same interests. And she's a little quirky and she takes me outside of my. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From his perspective. yeah, yeah, yeah but you got to understand. So from his perspective. We're, we're, yeah, we're yeah. looking at it from his perspective. From <clears throat> his perspective, we don't know that she's running game. So from his perspective, it's like, yo, he kind of is. He found the one. It's just that she's a little broke, and mm-hmm. she's about to lose her job. <laughs> yeah. And he was okay with that. He was willing to accept that. And, so it's yeah. just like he's actually I, afraid I, that he fucked up. I, I yeah. don't think he he when he corrected the article. I I don't think like I do think he did it to be helpful from his perspective. Like I don't think he did it. Yeah, to because be he mean. did mention at a certain point. Yeah. in that movie, like yeah. he knew about something, and then you know. But, he was but the thing I right. the, the 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 thing I really want to tie in is that the director did an excellent job of not painting him as the villain, but right. not giving not Amazing painting her dude. as the villain. Yeah, yeah, but but <laughs> amazing turned him straight into the villain. Yeah, like no, he I did, did not. Yeah, he did out. nothing. Look, think of, okay, he did think nothing wrong the whole movie. Articles that you know. I mean, yeah. did they also yeah. 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 Let me just let me just land this plane. Hold no. on, let me let me just let me just land this plane. Mm-hmm. So many romantic comedies, when they have two guys competing for the same woman, in this case, mm-hmm. Adam and, and and Nick, they. They paint the good guy who has like everything, you know, form stuff. They always throw in that fuckery where he does something wrong. And it's like such a negative. It's like, oh, he's cheating. He's actually over here. You know, he's actually, he's not being honest. Like he's always the bad guy. In this case, this director figured out a way to like make the other guy more suitable, but not demonize this guy and make this guy the villain. And I thought that was right. masterful. That's right. why I had it like. I'm liking this. Yeah. yeah that's why I had it so high. Okay. That's why I had it so no, high not- ranked. But yeah. this the yeah, ending just the really point. fucked it up to where like I had to knock it. The I, whole I point. The majority that, of rom coms, I don't think they do make it a villain. I I think they well, make they like, like, the no one we did. <clears throat> what was the last one we did with Reese Witherspoon? They made them both. I mean, they were both good guys. Like most of them don't make them complete like cheaters or a holes. Well, that one that one was just unrealistic. Like this right. this girl I got a whole kid enjoyed. and like I can't and, remember yeah, the last this, movie I saw her. In. Yeah, no, no, no. The the your place or my place, like that was just completely oh, yeah. unrealistic. Like that writing. I'm was just terrible. saying, I don't think rom coms ma- a lot of times don't necessarily make them totally. No, they always just make the guys they look weak. Them. Like they're gonna accept oh. anything. That's why I'm just yeah, I'm getting kind of tired. Even of them. No drama in the mix. There's no drama in the mix of that. So, <laughs> but I am like curious Adam. at the end after Jerk goes manic. Um, yeah. just like give you some time to think about it. I'm just curious of um what your your top rom com is. Like okay, number one. We'll, we'll talk that in the, the, the back the back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, I, as far not, as I got like a funny a, story, story to tell. Um, but go. Yeah, I did it. Y'all covered all the scenes and stuff. I, I say performances that kind of stuck out. I, I think they actually had a good uh cast of uh, actors and actresses. So I, I definitely like yeah. that aspect. Like I said, it was just the whole component where like you know, she was stepping out of line a little bit and the guy always wants her back. Yeah, yeah. So I think there definitely could be some changes. As a matter of fact, we could just jump into the the fourth question. Like, if I was the producer of this movie, what would I change? I would have made her get, like, laid off after she submitted that shitty piece. I think that would have been, like, a good spin. Like, after she submitted her article, be like, hey, man, this was, like, the worst article I've ever seen in my life. Like, she's like, damn, homeboy did, like, rewrite that. But, you know, I found... Adam again. I'm with him. He's gonna like put this burden on his back, <laughs> and I'm gonna get with him. So this story should have just like uh, played out that way. So that would probably be the only change I would make in this one. So I'll go ahead and toss it to Manny. What changes would you make? Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna go back because I, I, there's um, back to the scenes. It wasn't, this is the last thing. It's like a sequence of scenes, like the sequence where she slept with the fisherman the very next day she meets Nick and then she sleeps with him later that night. Like Mm -hmm. that was disgusting. And not once did, you know, when she was with the fisherman, she just jumps over on him and then like, boom, it's just like, it looks like they got straight to it. So it's just like probably didn't use protection. Um, She seems like a type, she's out there just, you know, she's 33 and in yeah. a span of a week, we already seen her hook up with two dudes. So it's just like, you know, you start doing the math, like her body count is outrageous. And Adam was been has been a part of the whole process. So yeah. it's just like He's that. A witness it is. So you thought it you thought it was uh, disgusting that she hooked up with two dudes in one day? Yeah. 
Yeah, and in a span of you know 24 hours, like that's crazy. Yeah, that's I've done wild. that with chicks. I've done that with chicks, bro. Yes, it's different for guys because guys we try to it's do not, that. Like done, women think it's women. also disgusting. Dude, that's like yeah. it's three. disgusting for all parties involved. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, when men try to do that. Women don't try to do that. They yeah. they try to do, you know, a woman. That's easy for a woman. I, yeah, so it's just completely different. But uh, things I would change. I would change the fact that she was out there like that. I would. I would. Uh, I mean, and, I broke and it up Adam a little was, bit. Shit. Yeah, broke it up a little bit. Like, I mean, hey, do maybe same, do the same thing that men do, dude. I've slept with like three chicks in like two days, bro. Like four, less than forty eight hours. Yeah, I mean. It's it, but it's, yeah, it's it happens, it's, bro. It happens. I know it happens, bro. Like it's like it's <laughs> like I don't. I, I'm not an adult. In I mean, but look, but that was what the play that I was about, right? But I'm saying it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I would have changed that. Yeah. I would have changed. I would have broke it up a little bit, and and I'm not gonna go into all the things I would change, but like I would have made Adam, you know, more of a man. I would have made him a little bit more masculine because he was definitely giving off like. You know, feminine. I he was giving off like homosexual energy, so it was just like I wasn't sure. I was like, if yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I honestly wasn't sure because I was just like, I didn't see him like. I mean, you know, it was like, hey, it's your turn to play. He was like, I'm gonna reserved, wave. But yeah, he was just he was quiet and like yeah, he was just more reserved, smooth yeah. with it. Like he he was. I, yeah. I don't think that was. Smooth. He was not smooth. He was a sucker. <laughs> you y'all, y'all gotta. I gotta <laughs> knock it out. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Too. Look, you know? when and that moment then, came when he hit the, escalated, yeah, he lost his position on that because he got right into it. He showed his he showed his hand, of course. But other than that, I mean, what do you expect? Because think about it, y'all huh. been running these plays, and then mm. now you want to switch up. Like when did the, okay? I'm, yeah, so so Adam, things I would I would change Adam's character a lot. Uh, as far as you know, if he really did like her the way that he liked her, I would have had him like doing a little bit of sabotage, something to like sabotage to like, you know, we didn't need the hint because they made it so predictable. But it would have been it would have felt more realistic if he didn't like do such a great job with coming up with the plan to help her get like married, married type situation. Or if he if they would even made a scene where he just like talking to her and like, hey, you know, this is going really well. I honestly didn't think it would go this well. Then I would have been like, oh, OK, because it's just like he did it because he thought he knew it's not going to work out. But then it actually started working out. Um, so I would have added something like that. And then the ending would have been completely different. Like they still could have ended up together if I would have took out that, like, you know, hooking up with the 20 with the two dudes and like within like 48 hours, mm -hmm. I would have took out that scene and then I would have made her just be. You know, uh, I would have made them come together a different way. Did you think that scene with actually what did you think that scene was funny? Remember when they were like to his apartment and she kicked over that lamp and she was like, Oh my god, is that from Syria? And he was like, uh, yeah, it is. He's like, hey, he was like, he was like, no, he's like, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. But, yeah. But dude, he said, Can we just go into the bedroom? He said, Yeah, all these fucking expensive ass. He's like, Yeah, I got like, expensive stuff, artifacts, all these, all these uh, valuable yeah. artifacts in the damn living room and yeah, shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, I that thought was, that was funny. I, I like that scene. That was funny. Yeah, but that that's 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 what I would change. I would have changed Adam's character a lot. Um, I thought he was he he good. He definitely had the graphic design qualities and his presentations were fire and definitely a smart dude. So it's just like their levels have been like intellect and intelligence like kind of match when they like mastermind and things. You could tell they make a great team. Mm -hmm. Um, so that chemistry was really cool, but I would have just changed, you know, I would have made him have like a little bit more of a backbone. Yeah, yeah I agree. All right, Everybody Wally. Hold on, let me. If you was the director or producer of this movie, what'd you change or do differently? Ah, oh boy, favorite part of the whole thing. Okay, if I was the director of this movie, what would I change? Pretty much, this was the main thing I would have changed. Um, with for Adam, like this is my main thing. Like I would have, like in the movie. I would have want them to like separate Adam more and more. I, they did eventually did some separation, but I want him to be so separated. Like the moment he knew that she that Mac was serious about being serious about this dude, I wish there was like a little bit of a more seriousness of where they were separating. Where he was like, okay, I have to detach myself hmm. from her in every aspect as much as possible. As far as like the way like he was co communicating with phones, even though he had the, the girl in his in his crib or however maybe. And all his other stuff keep on detaching, and then to the point where Mac would have to question, well, why are they not so, you know, why they're not clicking the way they used to? And then that's where he would have thrown the punch in, like, this is the reason why. I think that would have been a little bit more impactful, in my opinion, 
versus just, you know, that one climax of the movie where he actually pitched it off, where he's saying, you know, this and this and this and that about, you know, you're doing all this, you're doing everything to run up this play about this person, that person, but you're not really learning. And if you actually think and remember it, right, when his character was in this movie, he was taking it slow with the chick that he was talking to and trying to get to know her a little bit. And he wasn't taking it fast. He wasn't even trying to put it out there like that because he knew that it wasn't serious, but it was something he was working on to see if there was something serious. And the fact that he's reflecting on her like, you're doing all of this, but you haven't even pulled back enough just to see if he's even serious about you. It was just like, it was just that hitter right there. So I think if he had did that, you know, a little bit of a switch, and then, of course, that, and then smoothed it out, I think that would have been more better for the movie overall. That's me. That's my main one. Other than that, everything else you can probably keep around. All right, amazing. If you were the director or producer of this movie, what would you change or do differently? Um, like I mentioned earlier, I would have made. I just thought I, I would have made them not be like a team so long, just for the mistakes they they made. So I would have changed that a little bit. Um, to Manic's point about um, Max character, I think they had to do that just as part of the whole storyline aspect. Um, but I do think the thing that maybe I, I would have changed is I think all of all of the characters did have a super good chemistry. Um, but I believe, like, Gina, I think her name is Rodriguez in real life, and then the, the Wayne's brother, like, they have to be in their late 30s to early 40s. Um, so I just, I so kind of felt like it was kind of, immature for just their age in general so i i do think they had um like super good chemistry but i mean if i would have maybe may had it, it's a hard a it's a hard actor. for maybe to speak yeah, younger because i think once mm -hmm. again once you're past 30 if you're if you're doing this um do you want to be in a relationship or not? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I can well, see somebody doing it in the 20s, but after you're 30, it's kind of like, come on, grow up. Yeah. But okay, so amazing. Let me ask you this one question though. But when you think about Adam's character, he was the only one amongst the guy of the group that was running these plays, but never was really actually running any plays. Mm -hmm. You do notice that, right? He was the only one out of the rest of them. That's he, true, but he I mean, he was helping. I just don't think, like, don't I, I'm not saying assistant. he don't have a past. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not saying he don't have a past, but I think out of the rest of the group, he was the most matured one out of that that got out of that fold. Oh, I agree. You, I agree you, with that. Yeah, you could yeah. you could tell you could tell he was a one a one woman man. Yeah, I agree with that. That's that's I think that's he that's just did it to hang to be with her. Yeah. Like he he was only really doing it so he could have that time with her. Mm -hmm. But see, that's um, why I think he was even think, more of a sucker. Some men are like that. Just a oh, wow. Man. She's. I mean, uh, she, Gina, Ro she, I mean, Gina she, Rodriguez again, is 39. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I knew yeah. she had. I didn't realize older. she was that old. Yeah, she I didn't realize is, she was. Which, she is. But she looks good beautiful. for 39. I mean, but it's funny because I think men in general do stupid things if the woman is beautiful. So it doesn't surprise me. Like if if somebody is if there is a beautiful woman, they're gonna do stupid stuff. I mean, yep. even to their own detriment. So nah, I don't I, I don't think I to this think extreme. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and get Fred. Fred, <laughs> you done? Ain't amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm done. All right, Casey, Fred. <laughs> if you were the director or producer of this movie, would you change or do differently? Um, just the ending, the way it ended or whatever, you know, hug and kiss and then just roll off. It would have been kind of cool to really kind of see a little bit of them together, like in the future, them like, you know, either living together and everybody's still hanging out or whatever, mm -hmm. or them getting literally uh, being like the parents where you guys see them getting married and the rest of the crew is in the wedding or something like that to end it like that because you just like i said it, it did feel like one of those romantic comedy but you felt like a christmas story almost the way it was going because you it was so predictable you knew what was going on so i was like you might as well just put the cherry on top and just mm -hmm. edit it that away you know 
But I mean, that was probably the only thing that I would change. I one thing that I I did think that was uh, at least funny to me is the black sister how she hadn't even really been with him that long, but she already knew how mm-hmm. Adam felt about yeah. Mac, and and so this crew is such a uh, intense together all for one musketeer group mm-hmm. they get up and they say oh no he, she didn't and they go over there to her while she's <laughs> at the place and she over there you know getting cozy with this i know you ain't getting cozy with you know me and leaving adam all the <laughs> mm-hmm. really nilly like this and so i just thought that was so funny and then <clears throat> later on when she uh says well how, did you guys know that he felt this way about me Oh yeah, we all knew. Even the secretary was like, "Girl, I knew the first moment when you walked in the building." Yeah, she didn't say that, and it mm-hmm. was just like I just I picked up on that. Picked up on that energy. My sister knew the secretary. Yeah. Knew they hadn't even been around that long, and they could tell this is how this relationship was supposed to go down. And we all know, as the audience just watching it from the very beginning, yeah, you know, you just kind of be like, "Okay, somebody's going to end up with her." Who is it? And it just like, you just kind of knew it was going to end up being Mac and um, Adam. So I just wish they would have put the cherry on top. So, you know, go ahead and get married. Show you guys got a kid or, you know, the everybody is still together a few years later or something like that. Kind of like the way they do all the other Christmas movies, I guess. That would have been pretty much (laughs) <laughs> the Y'all love so Christmas. And, and, and you remember the part? Uh, you, remember the part at the um, at the double date when they were doing the uh, the, the lightsaber thing with the silverware? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just doing the life the lightsaber thing, and then I was a dude. Nick was like, he's like, oh, I wasn't into Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, he was, like, he was like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I was like, oh, yeah, that's man. not that's not gonna work out, man. You guys are too different. Yeah, but all right, uh, CLS, would you change anything or? Keep it the same. I'm just same thing for us. Uh, the ending, just change the ending, and then you know, because it, it was it was predictable. Like the movie was good, but it was predictable. We all knew from the very beginning that her and Adam would ultimately end up together. So maybe you know, maybe make it a little harder so that's not so obvious that they are going to end up together. Yeah, I wish I wish like, my man like would have just rejected her at the end or something like moved on. Like nah, <laughs> so something like, some 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 twist. Cause you did kind of see, you did kind of see him, you know. Uh, he 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 tried to, I guess, like detach from her just a little bit. I remember when he brought the, you know, the black chick to the the bowling, the bowling get together, the date. Yeah. And she was like, you only bring, you only bring people introduce, you know, girls to the group unless it, you know, when well, you bring a, another party in when it's serious, to the group, right? To that group setting, and that's because he, you know. So I guess you know he was trying to move on, or trying to, trying to get over. Yeah, because he self sabotaged himself at that point. Yeah, yeah. He tried though, you know. He tried. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. But all right, we'll go ahead and go to the last question. So now that you heard the people scores, would you change your score or keep it the same? And I'll start with myself. I, I did like the spin that Manny kind of outlined. So I'll, I'll go up to a, a solid six between average and good. Manny, you gonna go up, stay the same, go down? Nah. I, I... I'm I'm gonna stay the same just because, uh, like I said, I really like this movie, and it, like in the beginning, I had it in the trajectory of like a ten, and then those like fundamental pieces just fell apart. So I knocked it down a whole point. The ending was a whole point deduction, and then, oh, yeah. um, and then the predictability was another whole point deduction because it was just way too predictable. So, um, I I knocked it down a whole point for that. Usually if it wasn't as predictable, I might have knocked down like a half point. It would have been eight point five, but nah, it deserved a whole point for its predictability and a whole point for the ending. So I'm staying at eight. All right, all right. Wally, you going up, down, staying the same. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm gonna give this six point five. I'm all going right. Up. All right. Wally went up. Amazing. Um, I think I started with a 6.5. Is that right? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I think so. God, I think I'm going to go to a 6. And again, I was starting <laughs> off like super low. But you went up a point, though. You went up a point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I, I was going to start like originally. I was thinking like for real is going to be. I, I don't know the last time it took me three tries to watch a movie. 
Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go down to the six. I gotta go to the six. I think I'll, my first score I, th- I thought was six point five. Then I, I believe I so. Six. Yeah, I'll think I'm a six. Okay, okay. Casey, Fred. I think I'm just going to stay the same, to be honest with you, and just leave it at a 7.5. I kind of agree with everyone where you got to take a point off for the ending. You got to almost take a point off um, really because of predictability. But I'm taking half a point off just because I felt like it was just way too long to to get to where it was supposed to get to. Yeah, run time. And, yeah. and I know I'm an action junkie, but even then, the Christmas movies don't even last that long. 90 minutes <laughs> <is> about <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Christmas Fred Lowe, Fred Fred Lowe, Lowe, Christmas movies. Christmas yeah. But all right, CLS. Well, just based on uh, what based on what Fred and Manning said, like I said, you yeah, you could deduct the whole point, but you said uh because of the way it ended, because the ending wasn't that great, and then predictability. So I'll, I'll go down a point. I'll give it an eight. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Definitely good movie, man. It, we gonna have to circle back to get your favorite rom com. I'm definitely interested <laughs> yeah. in that. Oh, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, they because uh, trust it? me, they don't match up. It's, oh, you, you got some favorite ones? Efficient. I got a lot of them. I do too. You, did you like uh, 500 Days of Summer? 500 Days of Summer. I didn't. I don't think I've seen that one. 500 Days of Summer. Never seen that one. You see him grab his pen. Pretty sure that's what he grabbed. <laughs> that movie. That movie. Have I seen? Hold on. <laughs> 500 days of summer 500 days of summer it has a uh, um what's his name um does he shave his head no no movie? not not that one i know what you're talking about not I haven't, okay. I haven't watched that movie yet but i know what you're talking about not that i movie. actually i have i have seen 500 days of summer it's been a, such a long time i don't remember yeah. it though it was definitely not in my top it's not in my top 10. he basically um, spent 500 with a, days with a chick and if she breaks up with him for no fucking reason yeah, yeah, it's definitely not a romantic comedy. I think I would like <laughs> he's, 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 he spends he probably has been another five hundred days figuring out why the hell she just break up with me for no reason. <laughs> sounds like, like a, uh, what no part of that sounds like a the movie would just sounds like a horror movie. movie. <laughs> yeah. I think it's time for a horror movie. We haven't had a good horror movie in a while. Yeah, we we got to circle I mean, back. Five hundred days of summer sounds like a horror movie. No, nah, stuck man. with, a, with a the real... same chick for five hundred days, and then she's mm. like, "Now nah, I'm good." It, it, like, what? Like, nah, I'm like, "Nah, I'm good." She's like, well, I don't waste just... this much some... time." You know how many man some... hours that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she's like, "Meet some other dude," and just like, "Well, what does he have that I don't have?" He's like, "Well, whatever. I don't know, but you don't have it." <laughs> like, but... <laughs> yeah, but all right, here's, this was a good here's, movie. Here's, we'll go ahead and close this one out. Great discussion. Keep tuning in and see y'all. Peace. Peace.